That's awesome. And a paint can over there. Good morning and welcome back to my house. We're in my kitchen again. Yep. We're doing another upgrade and this one's a big one. We're doing quartz countertops and um, they're coming tomorrow. So that means today <laughs> we got to get rid of everything that's here and make sure all the cabinet tops are level. Everything's perfect. But if you're thinking about doing this yourself, you're about to see what's involved. Don't. What year do you think this came from? Uh, I'm guessing some of the 90s. Yeah. I mean, and these and it did. were balling in the 90s. But yeah. Sarah, you need to be cleaned out. I'll, I'll throw it in my truck if you need me to real quick. Define clean it out. <laughs> There we go. She's off. She's off. Unplug. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Hopefully these valves work all the way. They're 20 something years old. Sometimes they don't. What? That is on there. Holy crap. God, it's about 40 pounds. Holy crap. Yep. And he's gonna have a backsplash like this thick and it's gonna go all the way up. So these are in the way. So that's another thing that we gotta do. We gotta move all these under the Oh, they're all in the way, Daddy. Uh, Every one of them. Slide them out without having to rewire them. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> this backsplash is put on with 16 penny framing nails. <laughs> I've never seen that. Hey, Bill, we got to put the sink in with anything? <laughs> no, nope, don't worry about it. How about the stove? Nope. What about the backsplash? Yeah, use 16s for that, just in case. We don't want that to go anywhere. I came out clean. Oh, it is screwed from the back. I guess we'll just buzz those off because I don't want to have to take that out. The counters are going to have a full height quartz backsplash all the way up, but we are going to save that. And one thing I didn't think about, and I'm just now realizing, is that the counters are going to have to like have like a four inch backsplash that goes under that and around, which I don't know how that's going to really look. Mm -hmm. But that's the deal. I don't have more of these bricks to like put it on down. It's all coming up all, all together. So I guess we're gonna have to cut it. We can take it out all in one piece. Well, we could just cut, just cut it there. Oh, there's some screws right there. Oh. You're gonna throw it with your head in? Well, I didn't. Yeah, don't. We're on the, we're not on the right page. <laughs> Looks good. Sorry about the bush, honey. Let's take just a second to thank our sponsor for today's video, Husk Knives. So thank you, Husk Knives. We really appreciate it. Today I want to highlight their premium control knife. And I've actually owned this knife for three or four or five months now, and I really like it. Like if it's the knife that's dirty, I'll wash it so that I can use it over grabbing a clean knife out of the drawer. It's also a great camping knife if you like camping. Husk knives are Japanese inspired knives and they're built with attention to detail unlike a lot of things these days. They have a really nice oak handle and an ergonomic grip and they're very sharp, which is the safest kind of knife, which is weird to think about, but you don't have to apply unnecessary force to a sharp knife to cut through something and that unnecessary force is usually what gets you in trouble. Oh, hello. The blade on the premium control knife is made from high quality Japanese stainless steel. It's about 28 centimeters long and that wasn't to scale, 28 centimeters long and weighs in at 252 grams. It's very light and durable. For me personally, having a high quality knife did revolutionize my meal prep enjoyment. I enjoy it a lot more. And right now Husk is running 50% off all of their Japanese inspired knives for my viewers. And you can try them for 30 days with a money back guarantee. 
This discount won't last for long, so make sure to click this special link down in our description or the link in our pinned comment, which is the first comment. Again, Husk is offering 50% off to all of our viewers with a 30-day risk-free guarantee. Thanks again to Husk Knives for sponsoring our video. Let's get back to work. We were just trying to rip this countertop off and then realized that the dishwasher is screwed to it. So that was not gonna work. Is that why things screwed to it? <laughs> I was wondering why my silverware drawer always sort of dropped right at the end. <laughs> so I'm adding this screw to stabilize that. And honestly, after pulling these tops off, I'm not super impressed with the quality of the construction of these cabinets. They were hand built by somebody. Uh, whether they knew what they were doing or not, I don't know. Um, we got stuff like that over here. This is this one piece. This whole cabinet is, oh, sorry, Ray. One section. And look, the, this is the only divider. And the back is like quarter inch. Um, but it does have nice mahogany, sapile, uh, sapile, maybe mahogany or that other type of wood I said. So like, I'm wondering, should I just get all new cabinets now? But uh, it's kind of too late. Sarah. I like the way they look. They kind of match some other features in the house, like the front door and the vanity in there. But you know, you can fix that by getting a new front yeah, door. Yeah. But I mean, we're talking another $20,000 to get new cabinets. I can build them for two. <laughs> you'll get them, you two you'll get them in four years. <laughs> Be a killer video though. So, frick. I don't know what to do. Oh, Had a couple of uh, Missy Elliott's there through the side. I'm not sure what's going on there, but. wall oven is not attached so we're gonna fasten it through the face frame right there and there in a second so it doesn't just fall out of the wall by accident and i'm gonna replace these at some point but appliances are really hard to get right now because of covid and all that so we're not gonna do it right now we're going around with our big level now to see what's going on and a lot of bad stuff's going on for instance this section here you can see is way out of level. And let me run across to this other section. Look under there, Ray. There's like almost a quarter inch gap. And again, over here, look at this, where I had my pencil trim. Uh, pretty level, but you can see it sags major. So, uh, it's bad. It's one of the worst I've ever seen. And it's in my own house, great. Can't live with this. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up. Um, Pass, probably. All right, go ahead. We've got that shimmed up, and it's a lot better now. You can see we're basically hitting here. We still do have this big swag through here that we got to deal with. Um, not sure how yet. Gotta figure it out. Well, let's either put some shims on top or somehow jack this whole face frame up. And uh, I wonder if this whole thing will just... Oh, it lifted. I'm trying to think how we can make that stay without having something visible. Like we take the kick plate off or something and jam a board under it. So our kick plate is behind the tile. Like the floor was put in after the cabinet. There's just a myriad, is that a good word? It's, of it's a word. sins. Never heard it. Done. <laughs> that make it really hard to make this right now. Did you say myriad it's of sins? It's a myriad of sins. Are you a poet or something? I am man? today. I'm, I'm going to write a novel about this freaking kitchen. <clears throat> I might have found it in here. There is this kick plate vent that we could potentially pull off. At this point, it's just like do anything to make it work without too much shimming. See, the problem is... If you didn't realize it, if you put too much shimming here, even though the countertop steps off, sticks off like an inch and a half, you're going to be able to see if you're on the floor scrubbing it like I usually do every night, you're going to be able to see the shimming under it. Jason, get away from my Cheez-Its. I already ate the whole box. Don't that's, worry. that's what I was afraid of. There's another box if you're still hungry. Okay. See what's behind this? A bunch of junk. Well, what? What's the purpose of the vent? Well, there there is a vent 
Yeah, so this isn't like new construction where everything has to be sealed with mastic and airtight. Nah. This is just like, there's a vent under here. It just comes up under the cabinet, and then there's a hole cut here for the air to come out. That's it. Oh, that seems That's efficient. all she wrote. No, and this cooling system is not efficient. Like, it runs nonstop to keep this place, like, halfway cool. Well, probably because it's just pumping all the air underneath all right. your cabinets. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's see here. We're in bunk. No. Oh. What are we? Haywood? Haywood. 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 So as a proof of concept here, we're going to stick the handle of this knife underneath the kick plate here after it's been lifted and see if that straightens out the top of our cabinetry. If it does, we'll just leave it. <laughs> now we'll cut a real wood shim and replace it. So what are we doing with that? Uh, we're going to lift this thing. We're using... Let's, um, let's maybe go that way. Try not to break anything. Ooh. Uh, go, ooh, hang on. Go under that. Yeah. Ooh. How's that look? Uh, <laughs> looks like it's not broken. What broke? No, I'm just hearing snapping noises. Uh, I can't get the handle of the knife in there, so we may need something thinner. Let's try this. I ain't got one there. Let me get one down further. As far as my arm will reach, anyway. <laughs> got it. I can't get my arm out. <laughs> <laughs> Am I gonna have to hire a new camera guy? You guys are like hey, filming my eye. Nah, dude. This. <laughs> it's that's gold. That's yeah. gold right there. People are gonna love that. <laughs> Build a whole freaking house, no problem. Try to level one cabinet. <laughs> almost cut my, almost cut my finger off. The level oh, fell that's... off right on Jason's finger while he was holding that board. <clears throat> Did you break my level? I don't know, I'm about to though. <laughs> I've got this board under here. Watch how much I can move this cabinet. So if we get something jammed under while we got it pried up, she leveled. Yeah. Uh, that's that's too much caulk or whatever. I mean, that's going to be, <laughs> even for me, I mean. Big stretch. Yeah, that's, that's too much. Uh, I don't like it. So I kind of hate to do this, but I think the easiest fix is just to cut some holes in the bottom of this cabinet. There's drawers that go in here, you can't see it, and we don't have access under here like we had there. So I think we just cut some holes and I can fish some shims in while you guys. Oh, it's so close. Get ready. You can see our two shims that we got under there through our access holes. And you can see that we got rid of probably half of the sag. There's still about an eighth of an inch. So we're gonna do one more thing here to try and make that better. Our last little bit here is we're gonna put an extra block between these two rails to straighten this top one even better. And I just cut it like just long of what it is so far. Uh, ooh, this is gonna be exciting. Uh, I think if we just, if you pull up as well, don't stand directly behind me like you did before. <laughs> oh, God. yeah. Oh, I think that got it. All right, let's look. Whoa! Whoa, that's it. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of work. We did it. But it's straight now. Laser. It's definitely got sealing along this back of the front edge right there. Hopefully it doesn't have huge blobs on top of that. Yeah, I don't even know if that's attached. You might just rip the top of the cabinets off with it. I'm gonna wait till I cut the cock. Oh, you're cutting the cock. Yeah, it really can hold. Oh gosh, I don't know if it's just really attached or if it's just really heavy. I'm gonna guess both. Just, I'm gonna keep an eye. Ooh. And make sure it's not ripping the cabinets apart, which it kind of is, but um, keep going, keep going. Oh my oh. gosh. Did you hear that sound? That's probably the floor just caving in underneath. Oh, she's loose. She's loose. She, she I can see loose. daylight. Yeah. We're really scared that if we get this thing out, it's just going to 
take our toes off. And I called neighbor Bradley to see if he could get uh, up here and help us, like a fourth man, but he's not home, so I'm well, thinking. He's probably watching us through the window. He yeah. knows what we're doing. He's like, I ain't answering my phone. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking really, I hate to do it, but I think the smart thing to do to not get injured is to just break this thing into two pieces. Close your eyes. Put your, or put your safety glasses on. Or put your safety glasses <laughs> on. Do it. I don't know how hard I mean, I mean, just, I think, just tap on the line like a All right, so you guys missed a lot of action because Jason was running cam. He was just taking pictures when he thought he was recording videos. No, you handed it to me. I thought it was good to go. My part, okay, my so part. what happened though? What finally worked is we, we hammered this and then we just lifted one end and it shattered and then all my stuff fell off the cabinets and shattered too. Oh gosh. So, oh, it fell there. Um, yeah, my, so my drawer just gave up. She done blowed up. Yeah, I think we could probably get you it. You got, all right, let's roll it. Um, I'll get the door. Look out, Benson. Look out, buddy. Two, three. This is stone, and I've got like two acres of property down here. And this is going to cost a lot of money to put in the dump. And it's, it's rock, so I'm just going to put it in my woods. We're going to bust it into pieces and just put it back in the woods where it came from. Saving the planet. I bet if we break it small enough, I can just sit here and just whiz it from here. <laughs> You're dumb in Tommy's yard. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, dummy. <laughs> Yeah, this is like when you get sunburned and you're peeling like your skin, how satisfying it is when you get like a big old chunk. <laughs> okay. Dude, if I peeled this off of me, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, so satisfying. I don't want to brag or anything. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, he got it. I'm just thinking about getting rid of this whole thing. Check this out. Yeah. You know, it'll give the stools more room. I don't love the way this looks anyway, and it's just... I mean, give me a reason why that should be there. <laughs> it matches the one over there that we need to leave because it's actually holding the counter up. Oh. Can you get anything bigger next time? I think I walked into it. I want the biggest, heaviest thing you've got. I don't care what it looks like. I'll take All it. All right, I got your anchor back here. Oh, I got it. So we just tore our counters out in our sink, and what's the news we just got? Uh, it seems that Chase is going to make some cookies. My 13-year-old son is <laughs> getting all the dishes dirty. Mom, there's an oven, so he can make them is what I, yeah. is what I heard. And then and he we're going to get stuck figuring the rest out. No, he said he's going to clean all the dishes in a different sink in the house. Yeah, That's right. That's what I heard. <laughs> Dang, she all tore up right now. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, getting what's fixed up, up. Ken? They said they know I how to fix it. Come and join the party. I'm gonna come and watch, is what <laughs> I'm <doing. laughs> Something caught my eye here. Right there, where they have a seam in the counter, they cut a little groove right there. And I believe that's to get a better joint with the epoxy when it glues in there. It'll yeah. have a little lip, almost like a little key. It'll have a little grab. <laughs> yep, that should, uh, they probably do, they do it in both sides right there. That That's why I bring you in to show off the details. That ought to lock it together. What are you doing with that? Hey, I'll see you later. Thanks. What are you Thanks. doing with it, though? Hey, this stuff is pretty flat. Right. This has all kinds of uses and purposes in the shop. Yep. Oh, okay. okay. It's dead flat. It's non-absorbent. Uh, you can flatten stuff, straighten stuff, sand stuff, grind stuff. 
check stuff like a little instrument kind of measuring table. Your wife's here. <laughs> <laughs> Run! <laughs> so on this section, the wall and the cabinet don't seem to be parallel with each other. We uh -oh. got like two inches of stick out here mm. and only like an inch and a half here and it's tight to the drywall. Bro, so bro. instead of ripping a cut on the back of this whole slab, I'm going to take the old oscillating tool mm -hmm. and cut the drywall out so they can just slide this further in on this side. That'll give you that half inch you're looking for. Yeah, and that's a pretty good trick. And I think countertop guys probably do that a lot to the drywall guys work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys do that a lot? We do. But... Yeah, and in the finish, you'll never know that there's a hole in your drywall. So behind. what you're saying is it doesn't actually matter if you cut it out or not. Yeah, drywall is a lot easier to cut than, than quartz is and what I've And the heard. backsplash is going to take care of any uh, ugly cut or anything that you yeah, might see. Yeah, completely be covered. So, boom. Well, you're getting all the angles. I can't, even, right I can't even see what I'm doing. I'm on, that's how you get the best <laughs> angle. You don't need to see what you're doing. <laughs> People watching this video need to see what you're doing, not you. Oh. <laughs> there you go. All That's right. what I would do. Yeah. All right, there you go. Oh, let me see it. Huh? Scribe. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Mark out a little notch there. Yep. Okay. Do the other side. Whoa. Hey, yo. Okay. All right, I think that's all you need. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say you're not from Haywood County. No. No, you're not. From Orlando, Florida. You're from Orlando. Is that an Orlando accent? Uh, it's actually a Cuban accent. Really? The family is all Cuban. Okay. Yeah. I, I would not have guessed that. I would not have guessed it at all. Looks okay. like a gringo, see? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. She's like a whole gringo. Pero mi familia vive en la ciudad de Santa Maria del Mar in Cuba. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. Exactly what I was thinking. We'll get an interpreter for that. <laughs> we'll get an interpreter. Yeah. There's lots of people that will know exactly what you said. There will be. <laughs> it's gotta yeah. be, right? Hey, leave in the comments exactly what he said. The first person that does. Jamie will read the comments. <laughs> <laughs> These blades, I mean, we burn through them so fast. It's hard to cut when it starts oscillating dude. with the tool. Isn't I know, it? <laughs> dude, it, it was going nuts. All right, my man Ken here had such a cool technique that I got to demonstrate for you. And uh, he wanted to take exactly a half inch off the back of that piece. And what he did is something like this. He just taped over the entire edge with a wide piece of tape. All right, and this is where the best part comes in. Get your uh, square set here to a half an inch. Hold the blade against it. Look at that. Score yourself a line. Now, now it, we got exactly a half inch. The cut line. is right on the half inch mark, and that's what we really were looking for, right there. And it's laser straight, or at least exactly straight compared to this edge. That's right. Now <laughs> I gotta give him this piece of granite because he's actually wanting to cut it. So yes. here we go. Get out of the way. What are you doing? Uh, I'm reading and replying to comments here on our roofing video. How's that going? I thought uh, you said you weren't going to read those. I did, but I actually have had several where people said, Hey, Jamie, I know you're still reading this. And I am. So there's actually some really good comments. You want me to hear some of the highlights? Sure. In other countries, <clears throat> like Europe, they don't use shingles. I've heard that. On houses. In the comments, I heard that. Yeah, they, they reserve shingles for like outbuildings and sheds and dog houses. Huh. Every house here has shingles. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It is. Smells a little stiff in here. You notice that? <laughs> I don't think you can say that. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Anyway, that smell reminds me of when we spent a couple hours in the laboratory at Sashco. Oh, yeah. And they had all the products, and we were, like, dispensing a lot of uh, unlabeled product. Yeah. You remember that? <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised you can remember it, actually, because it was worse than in here, I think, right now. But, uh, woo. Solvent. Solvents, yeah. I think, Solvent. is what we smell. I think so. That really? stuff. That's... That's we a, did that. That's a bunch of it. Yeah, that is a pile of it. That's I'll probably lean right, right in there. <laughs> Ken's getting this seam going. Got a little pump and these suction cups that pull everything flush. And I want to quote him. He said, this is the part you don't want to F up. So, Q, 
Ken gets in the zone, I'd call it, and we just kind of steer clear for this part. Here's the other set here for this seam, and I think he's gonna be like bouncing back and forth here in a second, so we'll be way out of the way. Hey, one thing, I won't be worried about scratching this stuff after watching that. Yeah, as long as you keep this corner out of it. Don't do that. Uh -huh. Stay flat, you can fix it right up. Yeah, sweet. That's not a good noise, by the way. No, it's not. <laughs> So I'm ending up having to take these under cabinet lights completely off so they can flip these backsplashes up and it's impossible. Like they've jammed more wires in this hole than will fit. And so I think this means I'm gonna end up having to get new under cabinet lights in the end because I'm not putting these things back. And it'd be nice to have LEDs instead of these halogen things, but I don't know. I may just have to cut the wires. end of day two here I'm trying to be quiet my kids are asleep we're still missing one piece and I have a theory I wasn't here when they finished but when I got here this piece was in there was wires that were behind it and it was spaced out so my reverse engineering theory is that the wires were behind here this was spaced out they didn't realize it and then measured for this last piece and it was about a half inch short and that's my theory of why they didn't finish because they had this piece on the truck. So we'll find out tomorrow if that was the reason. I've done similar things myself about five o'clock, you know, at the end of the day is when things happen like that. So I fished these wires out, but I bet they figured out that those were behind there and it was five o'clock and they were like, forget it, we're out of here. So to be continued. It's the next morning, I'm down here with Ken. Morning. And my theory was almost right. So you can see that they've got the cut line right here on this slab and something seemed a little off. So they yeah. did not cut it, luckily. We and- Try to save the piece. Yeah. <laughs> Are you paying Jamie? No, I'm not gonna pay Jamie. No. He, he doesn't need to get paid, come on. Hey, no. I know. I got stuff I need to buy too. <laughs> so we've got our piece of backsplash over here. And what the guy said is they think they cut the hole for this outlet slightly off, like shifted. And listen, stuff like this happens, trust me. I do construction. They would get me a new piece of splash if I wanted it, but I said, no, no, no. I measured it and the center of what they got cut is 38 and 7 eighths. So it's like, man, it's only 3 eighths difference. You can try it, it might cover. They make big ones. Yeah, so maybe we should just try it first. It's right there. Dude, I think it's gonna cover. We're doing a little math and we think they haven't cut this as far off as they think. So let's mark center of the plate. I think we're gold. Even if it was, I mean, I've got, I've got an extra 3 16 right there. That's the maximum. So I think we're in the, we're in the sweet spot of, it's gonna work. Just gotta cut it to length, so I'm gonna call Ken. Wow, that came off super easy. <laughs> there was two, three nails in it. There's our replacement. Part. All right, ooh, I don't know if it's wide enough. And pin nail this as like a little nailer, if I can get in there. Oh yeah. Yes, can I help you? 
We're having a little trouble tucking all these wires in there. We don't want to cut them shorter though, why? Well, I said we can't cut them short because the next guy might be me that we has to deal with this. Deal with shorter wires. And I think we're trying to preserve as much length as possible here. Um, Jason, he, he was in there a while and he just stepped out. <laughs> I started sweating. They kept falling apart. I just had to walk away for a second. Yep, that's a good one. Unless I start throwing things. <laughs> I think we got everything nutted off to where we can test these under cabinet lights. You ready for a fireworks show? Yeah. Uh, I think it's that one. Yeah. Oh. Woo. All right. Hey, hey, hey. And that one didn't come on over there. Okay. Oh. Maybe just the switch. Huh? All right. My oh. bits, each one has a switch. Uh oh. Short. <laughs> Short. Uh, is just, everything nutted together? Let's we'll see. I think I figured out why this light doesn't work. Oh, good. All right, yeah, check this out. We got all these nutted back together just to jump it, right? Yeah. This one right here, though, I'm thinking could be the problem. Oh. <laughs> what do you think of that? Yeah, I forgot I cut that yesterday. Yeah, somebody cut these off and nutted them back. It's okay. It's good for safety. So I'm going to strip these out, put them together. Let's test it. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll just do it like this here. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Yeah. <laughs> Nice. I want to talk to you about this little bay window area. This is part of the window that I have my hand on. It is like three quarter plywood, I would say. And it's been getting wet over the years. It's all warbly and nasty. And all I'm going to do is paint this. I've sanded it. The reason I'm not putting something over it is that these casement window cranks almost touch this. And so there's not really room to do like a veneered wood or anything under here. Uh, without that hitting. So for now, I'm gonna paint it. At some point, I may resaw some wood that's like three sixteenths of an inch thick and shoot it on here or something. <laughs> Last things to get done here is to hook up the drain line and the disposal and the faucet for this sink. And I was going to do it myself, but I think I was smart <laughs> that I got a professional plumber on the line. He's coming here to hook this up. I'm not going to film him because he's not on social media at all, like zero. No Facebook, no Instagram, no, no Perkins Builder Brothers YouTube videos. Uh, so good for him. He's one of the few people that I know that is completely social media free. He's also gonna hook up my propane line to my stove and check it because he's licensed in that. If you're doing this yourself, I would recommend getting professionals in those areas to make sure you don't have a water leak or a gas leak it can be a big trouble. What's for my lunch? Scavenge. Scavenge your hunt for lunch. checking out our video today. We've been done for about a week and really enjoying the kitchen. It really brightened things up, which is awesome. And if you're wondering about the total cost, it was about 10,000 bucks, including the labor I paid, the countertops, the sink. I had to get a new disposal, new lights, and I think it was worth it. That's a lot of money, but this is going to be an investment we enjoy all the time. We're always in the kitchen. Again, thanks for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you on the next one. Hope you learned something. Yeah! Oh. Like and subscribe! Yeah!